Jian. I don't want to see your rabbit face. I want to see your actual face. Thank you. All right. Let's go. Huh? Thanks for joining today. Uh, Lucas, I'm still very, very proud of you. Seriously, really. I must stand out and bow to you. Well done, your NC. Hey, but Taka, my phone is handwriting. I got a bit difficulty. You know, Uncle Raymond, Lao Hua, Lao, 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 uh, really, I like your, your sentences. Let's go to okay. Today, we are talking about freedom, natural disaster. Today, this today, uh, hi, Valerie. I know you're in holiday. So today, we are talking about uh, natural disaster. But before that, Valerie, thank you so much for handing the homework. Uh, we are going to go through with Lucas as well as Raiden. Then after that, when we finish the two awesome homework, we're going to go through a test. All right. So without further ado, okay. Wow, a test. Uh, uh, that's, uh, I told you already, Lucas. From now on, every week there will be a test. Until the end of the month, there will be a bigger test or call it exam. So there will be next month, July or somewhere in uh, August, we'll be doing oral presentation. We have to do one minute presentations. A lot of things are coming out. Lah. So Lucas, you want to get your EduSafe award and you want to get a big gift from Uncle Raymond's, you have to work hard. All right. So you already got your, your gift voucher for the plus the pop-in ready. So I leave it to you whether you want to collect or not. Lah. Right, so uh, for the benefits of Yishen, uh, Yishen, so you are supposed to do this. Uh, uh, well done for uh, Lucas, Radens, and Valerie. They have done all this in the plus freedom. So Yishen, I hope you can hand in this homework next month. Okay, Yishen, all right? Because uh, this one is super important for you, especially for your paper two, huh? your comprehension. Remember the three, two, one, and then the false and true, all these things, okay? And then later we we'll ask you when do we use who and whom. Okay, we're gonna watch a video. All right. So today got a lot of things. Huh? please pay attention. Then we're gonna go through. Huh? look here. Okay, where is it? And uh, here you see how huh? You see, wow, so many things. Freedom, and then we got natural disaster. I want you all to pick one natural disaster later. Okay, so got a lot of things. So. Get ready, yeah. Uh. So we stop put here first. Let's go to Lucas. Are you ready to share your story with your beautiful handwriting? Ah, no la, no la. It's okay lah. Yeah, I think uh, joke aside, Lucas, we has much much improved. But your J uh, doesn't look like J. You see? <laughs> Sorry uh, your J must be like that, ma, my dear. Please, ayo, chu chu ni secondary school, the teacher, the Amor, the white boy, they are going to mark Cambridge is going to mark your O level. You must like that. Okay, even your IP, uh, okay, must, uh, yes, correct, Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Take away now. So, shall we start reading your essay now? Let's go. Your homework, not your essay. Lucas, unmute your mic, share with the class. You should pay attention. Now, this is these are the homework done by Lucas and Raiden. Next week, when Valerie is back, then Valerie and you uh, will share your homework, okay? So, go. Oh. Oh, so many drawers, looking, there are so thousands of dollars. A crowd of people. Wow. Yes, Lucas, the scene to find out what was going on. Okay, you see, uh, my dear, a crowd. Okay, this one is so right. So, so wrong. No, a crowd uh, was. Okay, thank you. It should be was. No, a crowd of people gather. So, er uh, is a singular, so you cannot put word. Carry on. An army of ants. Yeah, carry on. Was. Was gathered. Was at the end. I had you preparing to go and hunt for food. I like your creative ideas. Uh. Consider very good. Uh. But my dear, N or N is a singular, a group. So, say, Ika, so, say that you two group, three group, four group, then you use word. Number four, please. Okay, no of three kittens was outside the door mewing pitifully. And so Lucas opened the door, took the nerve gun, and shook all of them. D and. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Oh, that, uh, excuse me. You're not that cruel, uh, please. Uh. You what? Torture animals. Oh, uh, yo, um, animals abuse. Okay, next one. 
uh, more of rioters to access and try to kill the president. But thank God, the super uncle Raymond came to the rescue. No. Yes. No. Yes. No proof. Okay, fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay, next one. Joseph Schooling is a professional swimmer. He won a few medals for his. Uh, Lucas, the sentence is nothing wrong. Huh? It's correct, but we are talking about antonyms, like opposite meaning, right? So you must say, Joseph Schooling is a professional swimmer who won a few medals for his country, where else Luca is an amateur swimmer who did not win anything for his country. Nah, 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 nah. Hey! Yay! Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> okay, Uncle Raymond, Uncle Raymond. <laughs> right, okay, okay. No, just, uh, Lucas, you mean by ma? The sentence is correct, but you cannot make the comparison from professional to amateur. Remember? All right. So Joseph Squid is a professional swimmer. Where else? Lucas is an amateur swimmer, even though he did won a few gold medal. He won a gold medal, uh, Yishen, when he swim in the baby pool. <laughs> okay, Lucas, don't get angry. <laughs> okay, okay. Lucas number two. Oh, well, Lucas angry. <sighs> The enemy retreated as they outnumbered and could not attack. Okay, so retreat and attack. Okay, defense and and uh defense and attack. Okay, so you forgot to add these two. Ah, uh. carry on. My friend knows how to add but does not know how to subtract. Retreat and outnumber. I think yes. Ah, uh, is inside on um, opposite uh antonyms. Now I realize. Sorry. Okay, so add and subtract. Well done. <coughs> Always was Timmy's enemy, but now they get on pretty well and became a a l l y l i l i a l l y. Okay, Raiden, behave yourself. Huh? don't mind. Thank you. A l l uh at least allies with the i e s uh, Lucas is poorer. That means more than one. Okay, yes, i e s is more than one. You're right. Well done, Lucas. Number oh, five. I was anxious for the examination, but Ken was relaxed. You should not put Ken, uh, Lucas. Why you put Ken? You should say this. Tom was anxious for the examination, but Lucas was relaxed. Because, uh -huh. he, because he was he already prepared all of them. Already. It's, you know, he already well prepared for the exam. Ah. You must praise yourself. Clown. <laughs> okay, carry on. Well done. Next one. I created the entire house as your Chinese New Year. My dear, you see decorate and beautified, ma. Correct now, Lucas. Same meaning, ma. Vague means not clear. Okay, vague oh. means not very clear. I, I, I don't understand what you mean. You need to add, I mean, we had to decorate the entire house as it was Chinese New Year. As well, I want to beautify it to make it nicer. Because we are talking about yeah. Chinese. All right, number two. Did not know when to use abandon and when to use leave. Okay, so this sentence nothing wrong, Lucas, but you have to further explain. You did not explain. So Aiden did not know when to use abandons and when to use leave in his compo essay when he's writing about what? Giving up hope. Something like that. All right. Or giving up uh, his house, his old house, or giving up his old friendship, or giving up his old toys. Get it? So you must complete. That's why I, so I put it fake. Nothing wrong with this sentence, huh, to be honest. Huh? But you did not bring out the meanings of abandonment and leave, all right? Six, nine, number three, please. Tom blame Kevin for accusing him for the wrong thing. Things, yeah, okay. Accusing. Uh, uh, but it's still very short, my dear. So carry on. <laughs> Aiden believed there were strangers in outer space. Oh, that word is outer. Yes. Uh. This one is outer. Uh. I thought oyster. <laughs> it doesn't look like alter like O U T uh, please la, spell poppy, my dear. Ayo, you see, like that you can I said like R and some D there. Look like over space. Ah, uh, over, yeah, over, yeah, correct. Also look like over, okay? Lucas, you have a beautiful creative ideas, and the way you pronounce is very well. But when it comes to handwriting, I'm so sorry. If the teacher's first time look at your handwriting, he or she will be quite pissed off or quite frustrated. So don't lose your mark like that. Trust me. All right? Seriously, not worth it. 
because you will not you will face some teachers who are very very strict or just you know my time at Lucas my handwriting was like shit nah, sucks, nah. Ah. My, my teacher throw away my books no he really throw the books into the dustbin no seriously no some even use the, the ruler and hit my hand seriously that is my generation all right that was my generation pass wow right. that hurt definitely but i learned to write properly you see lucas sometimes they pull my ear no they literally pull my ear no i'm serious Good. thank you huh so so do you want me to pull your ear also no you don't even know where i live never mind i can ask uh... okay virtually virtually okay come let's go number five please come and take as much food as you want we got plenty food from what Holland. No, does it look like Holland? No, my dear. And then for goodness sake, uh, now I'm telling Yishen, pay attention, Yishen, Raiden, Valerie and Lucas, don't, I told you thousand and one time already. Uh, if you still want to be stubborn, sorry. Okay, if you do this in your PSLE, in your O level, in your A level, in your whatever level, don't write here. Please write on the next page. Don't be so lazy, please. I'm, te I'm telling you, uh, Lucas, don't do that. You have been doing this very many times. You just need one teacher. Huh? You know what I do? They will cancel off. No? Seriously. Ah. Yeah, they will cancel off. Some of them like that. Okay, take away, please. Don't, don't highlight, please. Today, my eyes not very good, so don't do all these things. Huh? You just do one scan already, okay? All right, thank you. So it doesn't make sense. Huh? You, are talk you are not talking plen plenty, uh, plenty full and what? What is the same meaning of plenty full? A lot, right? Is there a lot there? Don't have a... Correct now, don't have a lot. Though. Correct. So you did not show the sentence with synthetic and antony. You just write plentiful, but you did not use another word. Okay. Okay, let's talk about freedom. I like this story, a very cute uh, about the monkey one. Let's go. But it's true. No, no, no. I, I mean, yes. You are talking about those uh, scientists uh, doing this kind of experiments. Yes, it's true. Well done. Carry on. Freedom is, is a normal thing. Like the freedom to open a door. Once a monkey was put in the was put in the cage inside in a door. What? Inside in a what? I don't know what. Put in a cage inside a door. Inside or in a door. Put in a cage with a door. Oh, put a cage with a door. Okay, okay. Now I got you. Now. Was put in a cage with a door. Oh, I mean, a cage come with a door, la, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm a bit confused. That's my fault. Not your fault. Not nothing to do with handwriting. This one confirmed. Carry on. As you know, monkeys are intelligent. Oh, wait, stop, stop. I like this, this handwriting here. 100% to be honest with you. Now then, look at it. Very nice. You see the Y? You see the Y? You see the G? Oh, my goodness. Awesome, man, bro. Very nice. But this one, the rest, uh, I see the G now. This G is nice. Oh, this G is nice. Carry on. The people put... You see, uh, uh, the people then put a thing on the door. Sorry, what is that thing, uh, Lucas? Nerf gun? I don't know. Then put a, a gadget. You put that and say a gadget. Oh. Uh, put a gadget or put a, a, a machine or put a, a tester. You get what I mean? Like a thing or oh, very blur. Lah. Very more who do you can you can, uh, did you hear that? Uh Ishen? You hear that? Okay. Put the gadgets, yes. On the door. When the door opens, the thing that is open. The gadget. Then you have to change with the gadget, okay? Mm. No, 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 no. The thing that is opening the door. Like animal or person is not the gadget. You see, is it very confusing now? If you don't tell me, I still thought it's a gadget, Tima. Right? It's so, not a mm, gadget. Then you must say the monkey or the animals or the person. But it can be a human, it can be anybody. Then you say, when the door opens, the thing that is opening will get, can you take away the gadget this way? I can't see. Will get electrocuted. Okay, so you should put like that, uh, Lucas. When the door opens, whoever opens the door will get electrocuted, okay? That will be better. How about Lucas? 
whoever who open that means you must be a living thing sir whoever what whoever open the door will get electrocuted okay whoever is opening whoever is opening the door will get electrocuted that will sounds better because if you say the thing ah uh, i'm not referring to animals people or what i'm not sure or aliens uh, now you tell me i understand really so at first i thought this thing ah uh, boy uh, i thought this thing with re referring to this one here whoever opening the door will get electrocuted yes my dear well done carry on the monkey wanted to escape and have freedom so he tried to open the door but got electrocuted the monkey then tried stop 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 to... 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 okay 18 months carry on the monkey then tried a few more times to open the door, but to no avail. I like this sentence, to no avail. Who taught you to use this word? No one. Uh, you taught yourself? Maybe. Well done. Uh, Yishen and Raiden and Valerie, please. But to no avail means to no success. Okay, it was not successful. It was not uh, fruitful enough. Well said. Well done. Let's go. You see uh, the monkey here? You see the way you spell the monkey now? Lie down, lie down. You can't. You don't have anything. You lie down. The monkey, the monkey then lost the freedom to open doors and never that to open a single door in the future. So these tests are, Lucas, these tests are the humans are very bad. No? They want to make the monkey got phobia, huh, Lucas? So that in the future, he dare not open the door. So where every time you see a door, he got this phobia that when I touch the door knock, I will get electrocuted. Right? So the monkey, uh, um, lost the, the instinct how to use to open the door. Ah, very sad, very sad. Well done with uh not with uh, Lucas. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's all. We end the lesson ready. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, wait long long. Bye -bye. Okay, let's go. Bye bye. You bye bye. You see there to say bye bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay? Uh right then. And Ali, uh, sorry, Lucas. You want to say something, Lucas? What? You want to say something? What thing? I thought you want to say something. I didn't say anything. Okay, uh, Raiden. And Ali, our special forces will be coming to our base in five minutes. The board of directors will be talking to the CEO in an hour from now. A team of players is playing for the championship at the field today. Uh, Raiden, you mute now, Raiden. Uh, I will read, I will read because there's echo. Cannot take it, I cannot take it. A party of friends is coming to my house for my special birthday, spell wrongly. There was an army of ants marching to the roof, to, to the rotten, the word is rotten, uh, rotten apples that was left on the table just now. So was an army okay that is a collective noun that's what he did uh he, he had done for the five sentences for collective nouns next we talk about the antonym side opposite meaning please ask your child to stop switching on and off the lights uh very good sentence very common that is used by some young children the root have a black and white zebra crossing the roots uh, have so nothing wrong because you put as a plural there are different types of or different kinds of many kinds of people some are tall and some are short there are big and small dogs at the pet store five minutes away from here there are weak and strong people the weak people are more easy are more easily to get sick sorry this should be easily to get sick but strong people are well protected with the ed sorry the i think the scanner got not very good huh? next we we'll talk about the the same meaning synonyms that boat is big, but the yacht is huge. This mouth is small, but that end is tiny. This old man is wealthy, and this young man is rich. This bowl of rice is tasty, but this bowl of soup is sumptuous. That room is cold, but that room is frosty. Wow, if it's frosty, that's it, man. Okay, let's read about freedom. Freedom is when you are free from, for something, or you can be free from slavery. It, it is when, so you must put a full stop, huh, Raiden? You, you write, 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 write without full stop. Okay? Your handwriting has improved, but uh, 
uh, still quite big and, and, and not very, very straight and nice. Huh? It is when you are not control, controlled by someone. It is when you can do anything you want, like you don't have to be controlled by your every move every day. That's freedom, it's true. Freedom is when you are controlled by your parents until you become an adult and you can take care of yourself. So when you own your own house, pay your own taxes, freedom is when you pay your rent and buy your buy food with your own money. Okay, well done. So Yishen, you have seen this uh, two example already from Lucas as well as from Raiden. So Valerie will be shown to you next week. So Yishen, you will, up to you. Uh, it's better to you do. If not, you will affect your student performance appraiser. As you know, at the end of the month, I will send this SPA, student performance appraiser, to your fam, to your parents, okay? So let's go through it, share. So, okay, please write five sentences using this. Okay, done already. Now, who versus whom? When do we use who is this or whom is this? Is it an antonyms or synonyms? So you are supposed to do this homework. Huh? Now, take note. Who is used as a subject or an object? Later, you look at the video. Huh? When do we use who? When do we use whom? Whom is it a subject or an object? Is it who are you talking to just now? Or is it whom did you talk to just now? Lucas, which one do you think is correct? This is A. Oh. This is A. Huh? Wait, uh, A. Or is this B? Both are correct. Okay, but you have to choose one. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, you have to choose one. Never mind. No, no, don't, don't, don't worry. Later you will watch the video, okay? Because I have to ask Ishen also, and look, uh, Raiden and uh, Valerie. What oh, is your answer, Valerie? Valerie's oh. not here. Ah, uh, yeah. Valerie say, uh, I will tell you the answer next week when I'm back. Yeah. Huh. Ishan, have you tell me your answer already? Fish. What fish? Fish. We then don't play around of this. Valerie, Ishan, and Lucas can play around, but you cannot play around. Huh? You be serious, <laughs> huh? Okay, I'm serious, huh? Fish. Ishan, A or B? I'm still thinking. Sorry. A. A, huh? Okay, thank you, Lucas. I don't think so. I don't know. Never mind, you choose A already. Never mind, you share quite the end. Why? Ah! It's, not, it's not, not like you say the wrong answer, I'm going to take a gun and shoot you. Lah. Come on, just say it. Hey. Right, yo. We are not in Texas, huh, Lucas. We are not in Texas, that guy who anyhow kill people. Huh? Don't worry. Uh... Singapore is very safe. Raiden, which one? A or B? I think it is <gasps> A. Okay, uh, mute, mute your mic. Okay, you shouldn't quite there. B. Okay. In B. fact, those of you who choose A is used when you are talking. When you are talking. Hey, who are you talking to uh, just now? This is when you talk. Uh. You shouldn't you are right. When you are writing professionally, you are supposed to be, whom did you talk to just now? So Lucas, Lucas, you are not wrong. So both are correct. Yes. Just that you use them in different. Awesome. But if you ask me, uh, most of the time I myself also use A more than B. By yeah, right. A is common in like talking. No, by right, uh, Lucas, if you want to strictly follow the English, uh, you have to use B. Okay, you have to use B. All right. I know some teachers will mark you correct. Most of the teacher, like Lucas, A or B is correct. Huh? Okay, so let's look at the answer. Huh? So then what we'll... is the answer? Now, later you will find, okay, I was talking to him just now. I was talking to he just now. Get it? So which one is correct? First Who one. are you talking to? First one. Yeah, yeah, I was talking to him. So if you're using the M behind, huh, with the M, huh, usually it's a hook. You see the M with the M? Lucas, tell me to highlight. But Yishen, you don't say I was talking to he just now, right? Very funny, oh. So when you when you are you want to use this, I was talking to her, then you use whom? I was talking to them, 
Then got M, right? Lucas. T H E M, right? Then that means you will use this one. Don't blur it, uh, clown. Thank you. <laughs> Make your choice. When can we use who and in whom? Oh. Okay, that's the end of today's lesson. Bye bye. See you next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You bye bye. You dare to bye bye to me? You dare to bye bye? bye. To uh, you dare to bye bye someone? Okay, now let's watch the video, okay? And give you a better understanding. When do we use. Uh, hey, wait. Give me a minute. I need to see whether I share the volume. Super yes. iPhone. Ready? What do you see? We can I see your uh, text with Valerie. Valerie? What do you see now? I see the text of you and the WeChat thing. Huh? No, yeah, not yeah. YouTube. I see YouTube. YouTube now. Do you see a YouTube? Yes, I see YouTube. I see video. Can you hear the sound? Hey there, and welcome back to Learn English Lab. My name is Ganesh, and this lesson is all about. No, the I cannot hear it. And whom? Can you hear This is Can something that uh, a lot of students find confusing. When to use who? Who and when to use whom? Well, in this lesson, I'll show you how to use it correctly. Uh, before we begin, just remember that if you have any okay, questions okay, okay. at all, just let me know in the comments section below, and I will talk to you there. Okay, so let's start. Now, who and whom are used in two places. They're used in questions, and they're used in relative clauses. Well, first, we'll talk about questions. And then we will come to relative clauses. If you're not sure what that means, don't worry. I will explain it to you when we get to that part. Now, here's the rule with using who and whom. Now, who now. is okay. used in the place of a subject, and whom is used in the place down, of now, an right object. Down on a piece of paper. What do I mean by that? Now, we'll take a so you have to write who is used for. Ay, yeah. If you don't know much about Grammarly, it's a digital writing assistant that helps us to communicate clearly. When to use whom? Well, in this. Okay, so for that, who is subject? Whom is object? From now, you better, Valerie, if you are listening, uh, pay attention. Now, uh, this is very important. Uh. Okay? Write down. Uh, put that somewhere in your notes, wherever. I don't care how, where is it? This lesson, I'll show you how to use these correctly. Uh, before we begin, just remember that if you have any questions at all, hello, and I will talk to you there. They're used in questions and they're used in relative clauses. Well, first we'll talk about questions, and then we will come to relative clauses. If you're not sure what that means, don't worry. I will explain it to you when we get to that part. Now, here's the rule okay, with using who and whom. Who is used in the place of a subject, and who... I'm going to test you, uh, when I pause, I will ask you what is the answer. You better tell me. Uh. Whom is used in the place of an object. What do I mean by that? Well, take a look at this sentence. Bruce spoke to Betsy. In this sentence, we say that Bruce... So tell me, first one, who or whom? Type your answer in the Zoom chat now. I don't want to hear you. Type, type now. The three of you, please type and share it to everyone now. Who spoke to Betsy or whom spoke to Betsy? Valerie, if you are in uh, YouTube or watching the YouTube, sorry, watching the video, maybe you can also play along. Redan, what is your answer? I already typed. Okay, ready? Okay, enough, ready, yeah? Bruce is the subject because Bruce does the action, which is speak. Past tense, spoke. 
and Betsy is the object because Betsy receives the subject action. is always the first one. Now some people might argue is Betsy really the object because there's a to which is a preposition here but you don't have to worry about that. For the purpose of this sentence we'll say that Bruce is the subject and Betsy is the object. Take a look at these two questions over here. Uh, there's a blank there. Mm, spoke to Betsy. What do you think about number two? Do number two now. Put that number two. Do full stop. Who or whom? Are you done? Thank you. Okay, let's go up. Now here, we want to fill in this uh, blank with either who or whom, which is correct. Well, if you read the sentence, you realize that we know someone spoke to Betsy, but we don't know who that someone was. That is, we're asking about the subject. So the word for the subject is who. So, yes, awesome. Who spoke to Betsy? Mark, huh? Now, in the second sentence, of course, you must be thinking. Whoever yeah. have lesser mark, I have to do more homework. Whoever got full marks, no need to do homework. Ah, no need to do homework. You have to use whom here, right? You probably guessed that. And that is correct. But uh, before we get to that, I'm just going to write who over here. Oh. I'll now read the sentence. Who did Bruce speak to? Oh. This is actually correct in speaking. In fact, when we speak, we don't commonly use whom. In speech, we almost always use who. Oh. So that means if you are not sure whether to use who or whom, just use who and you will be okay. All right, but uh, I'm going to take the who off. Yes. So what about if you want to write something formal? Okay, or if you want to use a proper grammatical form. Well, in that case, you need to know how to use whom correctly. And in this question, if you read it, mm, did Bruce speak to? Here, we know that Bruce spoke to someone, but we want to ask who that someone was. That is, we want to ask about the object of the sentence. Remember, Betsy? So because we want to uh, ask about the object, we have to use whom over here. Before I write whom, just notice that there is a two at the end of this question. Now in English, we have a rule that we don't usually end a question with a preposition like to. These are all prepositions, to, with, by, from, for, etc. So if you have a question at the end, pardon me, a preposition at the end of the question, you have to bring that to the beginning before you write whom. So let's do that. I'm going to put a question mark there. To whom did Bruce speak? That is actually the proper grammatical form of that question. So if you're writing something formal, this is how you should write it. Raiden got two, Ishan got zero, Lucas got three. Ishan has to do more homework. Yay! Do you what? want to talk for Do you agree Ishan must do homework? If you agree, thumbs up. Only half homework. Half. half. Wow, so nice that Raiden give you half. Half, half, half. No, Ishan must have two marks. In fact, she answered. I want to test the two of you. You're very bad at half. At least you must say no one. You're a very bad at two boy. Naughty <laughs> boy are you. Naughty boy. Okay, let's go. Two, two, three. Lucas, you got three marks, huh? Why? I thought I only have two. Okay, at this point, I'm going to give you a very simple rule that you can use in all uh, situations serious. to decide whether to use very who serious. or whom. And the rule is this. When you're making a question, Look at think answer. about the answer to that question. Look at the way it is right here. Look here. If the answer can be him, her, or them, then you use whom. Okay? Right now, right now. When you're using him, her, or so them. So if the answer can be him, her, or them, you use whom. 
So to this question, to whom did Bruce speak? We can say, Bruce spoke to him, Bruce spoke to her, Bruce spoke to them. This is a rule, huh? Okay. Uh, so if there's an M in the answer, then you put an M in the question. This is uh, my M whom rule. Uh, but let's go back to this first sentence. Here, you cannot answer with him, her, or them. If someone asks who spoke to Betsy, you cannot say him spoke to Betsy. Her spoke to Betsy, them spoke to Betsy. That doesn't sound right. But here you can say he spoke to Betsy or she spoke to Betsy. So if the answer can be he, she, or they, that is there's no M in the answer, there's no M in the question. All right. We... This is my friend. He has been learning English. For a few years, he can. All right, with this rule in mind, uh, let's now do the next couple of questions. And this time, I want you to give me the correct question word. Okay, great. Number three. Put in a number three. You have to put number three. You don't have very confused, huh? Uh, you should put number three, who? Don't send to me, send to the class, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There, uh, okay, ready? Then number four also, uh, later. Uh. Uh, question number three is, mm, broke the window. Who or who? Well, think about the answer. Can you say he broke the window or him broke the window? Him broke the window doesn't sound. Okay, let's do number four. Do you want to see who or whom? This is hard. Okay, number four, if anyone get it correct, you got two extra marks. Wait, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. He broke the window is correct. So no M, no whom. So. Okay, I'll go one more. Who yes. broke the window is correct. In question number four, mm, do you want to see? Okay, the answer would be, I want to see. And then would you say he or him? I want to see he or I want to see him. I want to see him is correct. So there's an M in the answer. So we're going to put an M in the question. Wow, yeah. Oh. Do you, you want to see? Is the Lucas got three. If you got these right, I, I thought then, I got four. Um, five, put four, the correct question word, who or whom, in any situation without well done, a problem. Jenny, All right, so yeah. let's now take a quick so look at some bad. relative clauses. Okay, relative clauses. That's now when you see, uh, you see this part here, uh, very easy. When you see there's a two, uh, usually it's a whom. Get it now. I want to see him. Who do you want to talk to? I want to talk to him. I don't say, you don't say, I want to talk to he. I want to talk to she. I want to talk to her, right? So get it now. Huh? Okay, let's do this one. This one a bit tough. Huh? This one, everyone got two marks. Put the correct question word, who or whom, in any situation without a problem. All right, so let's now take a quick look at some relative clauses. Relative clauses simply means that two or more sentences have been combined so together. Synthesis, synthesis. Okay. And to combine them together, we use who and whom. Take a look at this first sentence. Richard is visiting his okay, parents. Let's do number one first. Number one. Put that number one. And then tell me who or whom.
Okay, let's go. Parents mm, live in Indiana. Indiana is in US. And here yeah. we would put who or whom. Uh, well, first of all, let's split this big sentence into the two smaller sentences or clauses. The first is Richard is visiting his parents. And the second is his parents live in Indiana. And we want to focus on the second sentence. So instead of his parents, can you say they or them? Can you say they live in Indiana or them live in Indiana? Them live in Indiana is wrong. They live in Indiana is correct. So no M, no who. Yeah. Simple. So. One more page. Six. Five, Richard four. is visiting his parents who live in Indiana. Okay, six, five, four. Huh? Just remember that this is not a question. This who just refers to his parents. Okay, in the second. Okay, come on. Come on, number two. Like, say two months, huh? <sighs> Don't sign, Lucas. Huh. I don't know. Oh. <sighs> Shen, are you done? Okay, ready? In three, two, one. Second sentence Her friend mm, is a guitarist, taught her how to play. Look at the, 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 the words here. Huh? What are the two sentences here? Yeah. The first sentence, her friend is a guitarist. And the second sentence, her friend taught her to play the instrument. Here we're interested in the first sentence. So in this gap, can you say he is a guitarist or him is a guitarist? He is a guitarist is correct. So once again, who? Her friend, who is a guitarist, taught her to play the instrument. This oh, next one is a little tricky. Daphne, mm, you met last week, is my fiance. Can you? Okay, that's three number three. So, Ishan, you got seven, right? Lucas got five. Then, uh, Raiden got six, right? Okay, let's go. Number three. What is the answer? Thank you, Lucas. Seven six five, huh? Come on, we done and you should. Lucas, where you going? Uh, where you going? Okay, Lucas, are you ready? I'm gonna show the answer. In three, two, one. Can you split this into the two smaller clauses? Well, the first clause actually does not start with Daphne. The first clause starts here. You met Daphne last week. And the second clause is Daphne is my fiance. Fiance means I'm going to marry uh, Daphne. Not really. It's just for the purpose of this sentence, of course. Uh, and here we're interested in the first clause. You met Daphne. Daphne is hidden over here last week. Here, can you say you met she last week or you met her last week? You met her last week is correct. And if you remember, her is like him and them. So we can have an M in the answer. That means we can have an M in a question word. So... Oh, Daphne, whom you so, uh, no, uh, Raiden eight, Yishen seven, Lucas also seven. Correct, huh? That's, eight, yeah, eight, seven, seven. You met last week is my fiance, and in the last example, the man mm, Cody works for is a okay. Let's go. Eight seven seven, come on, Lucas. Ishan. 
Beat Baden, come on, beat Baden, catch up. Don't shake your head, please. After your head drop. <laughs> the man Cody works for is a bidden air, Uncle Raymond. In another reality. Number four is who, ah? That's for Raiden, huh? Lucas and Yishen, come on. You sure not? <laughs> Lucas, your turn. Oh, I wish Valerie is here, huh, Yishen? Then we can fight girl versus boy. You thinking? Yeah, next next week, uh, girl versus boy. Yeah. Come on, Lucas. Uh... I give you five seconds. Huh? You have to type your answer ready. Huh? Five, four, three, two. And okay, let's go. A billionaire. Can you now split this into the two smaller clauses? The first clause starts here. Cody works for a man. The second clause is the man is a billionaire. Uh, again, we're interested in this clause, the first clause. So Cody works for a man. Can you say Cody works for he or Cody works for him? Cody works for him is correct. So because we have an M, we need a whom. The man whom Cody... Wow, seven, nine, uh, eight. eight and seven. He works for is a billionaire. Now let me remind you once again, if you are not sure whether to use who or whom, just use who and you will be fine. Of course, if you use whom correctly, then your language will sound more formal and more grammatically correct. And that's important, especially in writing. Well done, children. We still got, this is part one now. We got part two to come along. Huh? So well, well done. Okay, you should just now you're leading. Okay, even though you're number, number three, I, I think I you think can catch up. I think I should got eight points. Okay, never mind. So eight, eight, nine. But okay, Lucas, you are leading by one mark only. Ah, uh, so Jia Yu are maker, right? So uh, well done. That's what he said. Ah, uh, who oh. and whom is both are correct. But I and it's part two. Yeah, there's part two. Hold on. But Next honestly, week. wait, wait, wait. Let me speak first. Ah, uh. wait. There is part two after this. Let's go. All right, now I'm going to give you a test to see if you can use who and whom correctly. Oh. Okay, this is the one. So, Lucas, to answer your questions, uh, uh, be honest, uh, all these five questions are not very easy, but quite tricky, uh, tricky as I say. Uh. Whatever it is, okay, uh, do your best. Uh, like I say, who or whom, I don't quite agree, uh, Lucas, for what you say. If you are not sure, use all the who, not really. Uh. Sometimes when you use who, it doesn't really make sense. Huh? Okay, so you need a lot of practices, a lot of readings, a lot of things, okay? Okay, on the screen, there are six sentences with gaps in them, and your job is to fill in the gap in each sentence with who or whom. Take a moment and pause this video now if you need. Think about your answers, and then I will give you the answers. Okay, so this one is better, huh? One minute for you to do, huh? Let's go, Lucas. What was that? My handphone, my handphone.
Okay, yes, thank you, Raiden. To, uh, I was about to say like that. It's six questions, my dear Raiden. Six. So put your answer uh, to me separately, not to the group, because uh, so don't send to the whole group, send to me alone. So Raiden, you missed number six. Tell me you saw stealing from the cash register yesterday. Okay. Raiden, number six. You missed out number six. Lucas, have you done? Send to me now. <laughs> what? Send your answer, the sixth answer to Uncle Raymond now. Not done. Okay, no problem. Huh? Raiden, you mind checking? Checking. Yes, checking. Oh, come on, baby. I'm singing sucks. I know, he sucks like a duck. He's going <laughs> back like a duck, duck. Can you pay me a buck? Oh, he's checking. Lucas is picking the time for checking. And he's so nice for checking. He smells like a baby smiling. <laughs> And he's whistled like a baby, and he's talking. Oh, come on, baby Lucas, he's smiling. And he's talking right here from the start. Are you done, children? We still got a lot of things now. We still got a few more tests now, my dear. <sighs> Raiden, check or Raiden, checking. Checking. Sparky. No, it's, it's, it's supposed to send everything. See, I want to give you the answer. Give answer already. See, 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 answer, see, answer, 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 answer. answer. Oh, answer, 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 answer. Oh, answer, answer, answer. answer. Can I change my answer? Yes, of course. Yes. I saw the answers and saw wrong one. Oh, yeah. See, are you no, sure? No. Sure or not? <laughs> Lucas. Do it again. Okay, ready, go. No. I didn't even see anything. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Jackie. Okay. Oh, and I will count to ten. Uh, if you don't give me whatever answer you send to me, that's it. Ready? Uh. I count to ten. Uh. One, ten, three, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay, one, okay. two, ten. Okay, are you done? Yeah. Thank you, Ishan. Ishan, send the answer to me already. No, come on, Lucas. Done. I typed for ready. Lucas, you didn't say it's only send one, three, and five. What about two, four, and six? I said one, two, three, four, five, six. Many, many, many. God. You only send one, three, five, and then next one is one, three, five again. Oh, two, four. Okay, okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. My fault. Ready? In three. Um. All right, let's discuss the answers. In number one, we can answer this question with he, she, or they. We can say he is going to win the election or she is going to win the election. So the correct Hi, this is English with Anella and you should come with me to italki. Ta-da! Italki is a place where you can learn languages naturally. So you can save your time and your money with us. You can No name question. Who? Yeah. Number two, we have relative clauses, and we are interested hey, mother, in the clause mother. in the middle. Now, if this clause was uh, a separate correct, sentence... Mina. This one is two marks. Oh, nice. Okay, okay so uh, Lucas, you got 10 already, right? Hey, you got 11. Right, uh, the rest got 10, 10. Uh, so please add yourself already. Uh, I mean, lost count already. Uh, go. Be honest, uh, don't cheat. Uh, so... Ishan and Raiden are 10, 10. Uh, Lucas is 0. I mean, sorry, 11. What? 11, 11. <laughs>
we can fill in the gap with they. We can say they were both high school teachers. They means my parents. The correct relative pronoun, again, is who. My parents, who were both high school teachers, wanted me to become a college professor. Number three, there's a two at the beginning of the sentence, so that should give you a clue. Uh, now think about the answer to this question. The answer might be, you should speak to him or you should speak to them about applying for a loan. There's an M in the answer, so we put an M in the question word. To whom should I speak about applying for a loan? In number four, again, we have relative clauses and we are interested in the clause at the end of the sentence. If this clause was a separate sentence, we can say she won two Nobel Prizes. We cannot say her won two Nobel Prizes. Okay, so we have a subject pronoun uh, in the place of the blank. So we put who. Marie Curie was a Polish scientist who won two Nobel Prizes. Number five, I'm trying to get in touch with some of my childhood friends, and then you have with, okay? So again, as soon as you have the preposition, you know that it should be whom. But also, think about the clause at the end. The clause at the end is, I have lost contact with them, okay? So because we have them, when we change it into a relative clause, we write it as whom. All right, and finally, number six, uh, this is actually a question, but it's not in the form of a question, okay? And the answer to this question might be, I saw him stealing from the cash register or uh, her stealing from the cash register, okay? So because we can have an M in the answer, whom is the correct relative <laughs> pronoun or question word, tell me whom you saw stealing from the cash register. Voila. <laughs> okay, how many of those did you In case. All of them right? Fantastic job. If you didn't, just keep practicing and I'm sure that you will be using. Okay, next week I will be giving you another set of this. Uh, oh. Are we, are we going to reveal our points? Yes, please. Okay, tell me your answer. Out of six, Raiden, how many you got? Correct? Four or five? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh. Okay, Lucas, how many you got? Wait. Uh. Ishen? Five. So five times two, ten. So you got twenty marks, okay? I got four correct. Four times two, eight. So you got eighteen marks. Lucas? Five. Okay, so 18. Eh? 10. 19. 19. 19. Wow, you should you got first. What? Wait, what? 20. You got 20. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I oh, thought she only had nine. Okay, I don't know how you get nine. Okay, so what? children. Anyway, congrats to the all of you. Well done. You you understand who and whom. Uh, my advice is, can you make sentences with this whom and whom also has a homework, okay, children? All right, five, um, three sentences for who and three sentences for whom. Get it? Lucas left. Sorry? Lucas left. Eh? Why? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Can, can I go to drink water? Yeah, sure, sure. Why can Lucas you... angry, uh, left already? Uh? I don't know. Okay, Just... can you Go, go, go and drink water. No worry, no worry. No worry. Ah, no worry. Let's go. Lucas. Lucas, why are you angry? Ah? You left? Ah? Ah, Lucas, why are you angry? Ah? You left? You don't want to turn on your camera. Ah, Lucas. Why? No. You're angry? Ah? No. Why? why are you angry? You left? Please don't go. Emotional damage. Please don't go. Never mind. Lucas, you still got part three. Uh huh. Ah, when you know what how to do yeah, this one, uh, part three. What angry? Huh? I thought you're angry, you left. Got it now. 
part 15. Okay, Lucas, first one. Lucas, first one. Above, opposite meanings what? Lucas? Hmm? What is the above, opposite is what? Below. Below. Under. Uh, under. Below, under, under can? Uh, Ishen? In, inaccurate. Inaccurate. Well done. Anyone? X. Present. 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 Lucas? Is able. Very good. Michelle? Opposite meaning uh, opposite now. Uh. <laughs> Angry is what? Opposite meaning is what? I know. Yes. Happy. Yes, happy, direct. Okay. Ishan, anxious? Relax. Wait then? Uh Don't allow or disallow. 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 Next one, Lucas. Company. A company? Yes. Thank you. Lucas? Brave. Lucas? Passive. No, you should? I want to do, I want to do. You should? Okay, subtract. Ishan? Subtract. Yeah, correct. Next one. Uh, Danny? Huh? Deny. Deny. I don't know how to. Deny. Deny. Deny is not to allow. Huh? Uh, don't allow. Deny means to not approve. Ishan? So we are. Retreat. Read that. Uh, they. Huh? Alive. They, okay. Yeah. Uh, enemy. Uh, professional. Or master. Master, professional, can. Both also can. Read that. Uh, Oh, uh, descendant. Awesome. Open up to anybody. Come. And appear. Vanish. Vanish. Disappear. Vanish. Vanish. Disappear. Both can accept. Thank you, Yishen. Well done. Okay. Okay. Last one. Friends. Uh, 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 in front. In front. Friends. In front. In front. Well, now this one you don't know. I tell you, ah, uh. go back to family <laughs> one, uh, please. <laughs> if this one you don't know, I tell you seriously. <laughs> If yeah. you say back, you say side, huh? I tell you, I'm going to kick your side. Huh? <laughs> kick your back side. <laughs> if this one you don't know, I tell you, I don't know what to say, uh, children. Very fun. Okay. Please, uh, Yishen and Lucas and Valerie, if you can, uh, memorize all these as much as, as many. As. Because I may test you, not now. Uh. I, may test you the, I may test you at the end of the month or next month or just surprise test. Uh. Reward. No, my advice is you. Re, uh, I'm gonna give Raiden spelling for this. Uh, oh. Right? Yes, but not for all of you, because oh. giving spelling in Zoom very time consuming. Oh. Oh. So by right, Raiden will have to do all this every day five. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, this is supposed to be done by him, and then only this one also. You see, uh, Raiden is gonna do all these things, but these are uh, you can in share. You can in share. You still have to learn. The more you learn, better for you. Correct, not true, not Lucas. Because you go to secondary school, you're gonna learn all these things. All right. <sighs> Let's go for this one now. Synonym. Synonyms. Okay, come, Lucas. 
Just now you wrote one, you did write down, remember? Yeah. You wrote that in your homework, come on. Abandon. Huh? Abandon. Yes. Another two more? Uh. Two more, Lucas? Me? Yeah, two more, two more. Uh, unexpectedly. Okay, Raiden and Yushan, you want to guess? IDK. <coughs> Erupt. Write down. Uh, this one is very good. Erupt. That means it's suddenly. That means you do halfway your exam, something <coughs> you erupt. Somebody make a lot of loud noise, you cannot concentrate and do your exam. Or when you're sleeping, suddenly there's an erupt noise, a sudden noise. Ooh. That kind of song, oh, da, 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 like somebody do a renovation and, and rub your uh, disturb your sleep. Uh, Lucas. Oh. Men. Abandon. You say abandon and abandon different, huh? Abandon is to leave. This one is abundant with a abandoned. Tux, uh, abundance a lot. Vishen. Anyone? This one, if you can answer, I'll give you three marks. What is the answer? Lucas and Raiden, and Yishe. Lodging. Lodging, yeah. Lodging is to stay. Is to stay at a place. Leave. Uh, I come on, what? Accommodation. Accommodation. Yes, you got three marks. Well done. <laughs> yeah, so happy, uh, Lucas. Well done, Lucas. <laughs> come on, come on. You should tell your time. You think three sun here. Okay, Blaine. Accommodation. Fish. Huh, fish? <laughs> You, you might say octopus. <laughs> might say wheel and dolphin. Squid. Ah, uh, squid. Sotong. Sotong. Blame. <laughs> Blame is what? Same meaning, same meaning. I don't Thinking. know. Accuse. Well done, accuse. Pointy. Pointy. Point your head, uh, pointy. <laughs> pointy. Might say Sharpie better. <laughs> Point. Come on, Lucas. Come on, Lucas. How do you think sharp? Uh, yeah. Sharp. Start with A. Start with A. Occur. Yishen? Auto. <laughs> Acute. Yes. Acute. Well done, huh, Lucas. Your primary four, if you don't know all this vocabulary, it's definitely very useful in your PSLE in your future study. Huh? Oh, shit. Okay, stick. Sticky. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sticky. It's yeah. Hot. Fat, fatty. Uh. Yeah. Up here. Up here. Yes. Well done, Yishen. You are tied with Lucas already. 20. <laughs> a. 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 Huh? A. 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 AID. <laughs> I know, I know. A, yes. A, not the A. Oh, okay. Ally. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A lot. No. Ample. 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 Oh. Yes, ample. Ancient. I thought, I thought he said apple. <laughs> annually, yeah, yeah. annually, 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 assistance. Well done. Come on. A surprise. A tire alien. What well, tire alien? <laughs> alien is stranger. <laughs> alien surprise. Oh, alien is strangers. Uh, no. Oh, surprise is astonishment. Dress is uh, a tire. tire. Attire. Stranger is alien. Alien is stranger. <laughs> well done. Last few more. Come on, few more to go. Uh, uh, advance. 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 Yes, advance is to go for. Bear. Bear. 
Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. Bear. It's a verb. It's oh, a, the verb kind of bear. I see. Not a noun, ha. Huh? I see, I see. No. Okay. Bear, fruit, bear, fruit. bear fruit. So Uncle Raymond a bit stupid now. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. Bear, bear, smart. B-A-D. Beautiful. Beautiful. Dentist. Oh, beautified. You are bad. You make me sad. Not glad. And make everyone glad. <laughs> I will tell my dad you have taught you to feel very glad. Huh? What? Wow! So it's correct, huh? it's beautified. Okay, Valerie, just take note now. Huh? This one also the same. This is synonyms. Same thing. Uh, you have to do your homework. Uh, sorry, this one's wrong spelling. Huh? Uh, this, Lucas, can you put a U for me inside here? Where should I put the U? Here, 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 where? Uh we don't take away, please. I'm asking Lucas. Here? Here? Or here? You, you miss a U there, huh? This one is an American spelling, huh? Yes, correct. Thank you. Here? No, uh, here? 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 You confuse me, me? Take away. Okay, let's go. Vishen? What is the meaning of freedom means to you? Freedom is something that everybody has heard of, but if you ask for its meaning, then everyone will give you different meaning. This is so because everyone has a different op opinion about freedom. For some, freedom means the freedom of going anywhere where they lack. For some, it means to speak up their from form themselves. And for some, it is liberty of doing anything they like. Thank you. What is the meaning of freedom? Jen? The real meaning of freedom according to books is Freedom refers to a state of independence. Independence? Independence. Independence. Independence, where you can do what you like without any restriction. Very good. Yes. Restriction, that means there is boundary that is, uh, prevent you from doing things. You cannot do this, cannot do that. It's called restriction. Moreover, moreover, freedom can be called a state of mind where you have the right and freedom of doing what you can think of. Also, you can feel freedom from reading. I think, uh, guys, be fair, uh, when somebody is reading, Please do not disturb the person who is reading. It's not fair, huh? So when you are reading, somebody disturb you. I don't think it's fair. This is about uh, professionalism, manners, good manners, and good attitude, good behavior, good characters, and the most important thing, discipline when people are reading. So we will add. Yishen has been reading about freedom. You see, uh, a few. Here. Homework, I'm, I'm telling you, there's no rest. Uh, there are a lot of homework. Uh. Past four months, uh, children. Okay, because of the past four months, uh, you have done a lot of homework, you have done a lot of tests, you have done a lot of practice, you're handing a lot of homework. That is why you got band one or even band two, or even you have improved, you have improved your English tremendously. So now this is the last four months. Your exam will be somewhere in the October 25th onwards. After the PSLE marking days, that is the time. Then when it comes to November, Lucas, even you want to have fusion, Uncle Raymond also don't want to fusion you. Go and enjoy thy health. Okay. Yes, then we'll continue in December. So November, November, there will be no fusion for you. Okay, I want, yes, I want to give you a break. Fair enough, Lucas. Right, all words and no play make uh, Lucas a dull boy. 
So yes, uh, when I tell you to do homework, you jolly well have to do. If you don't do, it's fine with me. At the end of the day, if your result is no good, you is you are the one who is going to face music by your parents, not me. Now, children, I want you to come up with your creative ideas. Are you Shen, Lucas, Barry, and Raiden? I want you to come up with your own ideas by drawing. Okay, not fish them. Uh. It's freedom, not fish them. Uh. Okay, that where you need to do this a drawing, something like that. Draw the meanings of what you mean by freedom. Me, okay, Ma. Not fist ball, huh? okay. This is freedom. So I want you to draw. I don't want you to copy, you know. I want I you to know draw. what to draw. I'm not good at drawing. Then you learn to draw. You need to learn to draw because Lucas, Lucas, <sighs> when you go to secondary school, even you don't like, I honestly I still don't like to draw. I can't even drawing? draw a circle. But but now, uh, as I grow older, I like to draw sometimes. Some, sometimes drawing can express yourself to impress others. So Lucas, you learn now, learn now. No need to draw until like uh like Mona Lisa like that, okay? No need to draw like Michael and Mona Lisa. I draw my flag. Ah, okay. So uh, drawing a flag, a flag uh, is considered a freedom also. Yes, you can draw a flag and say show freedom. Okay. Now let's talk about this one. Okay, take away, uh, Lucas. Okay, I'm gonna talk about today's natural disaster. Another homework for y'all. I it? want you to choose. Okay, I want you to choose. They are all together. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, 10 or the 19 pages, huh? 19 pages. So we're going to go one by one. Okay, let's talk about hurricane first. Okay, you know how hur hurricane look like, right? you see? This is the eye. Huh? Lucas, can you draw this one? The point, the arrow here, and point this part here. Point here. We're using a red color, the red color arrow. Yes. Further, further, further. Point here, la, inside. La. Thank you. Okay, this is the eye of hurricane. Thank you. It's called the eye. Right, take away the arrow, please. Thank you. Lucas, can you read to the class, please? Slow and steady. Do fish, not rush. Fish. Fishes. And characteristics. A hurricane, also called tropical cyclone or typhoon, is a giant spiraling tropical storm characterized by a low pressure center and the spiral arrangement of thunderstorms that produce heavy rain and strong winds. Wind speed in a hurricane can reach up to 300 km per hour in a very severe occurrence and can cause over 9 trillion liters of rainfall per day. The center of a hurricane, also called its eye, is typically about 30 to 30, 65 km in diameter and not notoriously calm. The outer edge of the eye, called the eye wall, is where the greatest wind speeds and the highest Precipitation. 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 Precipitation of the hurricanes cause far greater damage to coastal regions and typically weaken overland. Daily occurrence. The deadliest hurricane on record is probably the Bola cyclone in 1970, which shut. 1970. 1970 shocked the Ganga's Delta in Bangladesh and killed more than 300,000 people. 300,000 people, no. Hurricane Delta in Bangladesh is the costliest hurricane worldwide, causing damage of over 100 billion. The Great Hurricane of 1780. In the Caribbean island and Typhoon Ninja in China in 1975 are two other instances which caused great loss to life, killing about 20,000 and 100,000 people respectively. Oh my goodness, this is so devastating. This is so destructive. This is so disaster. This is so disastrous, devastating. Destructing and this is so deadly. Remember all the D D D D D words are deadliest. Okay, hurricane is the number one killer as a natural disaster. Okay, so hurricanes are giants, right? Okay, so you mentioned this, yes. So look at this picture here, right? So take note, huh? You you guys have to choose one of the natural disasters to write in your composition. Let's go. Okay, in your composition. Next. Raiden, your turn. Drought. Drought. Yes, sir. Features and characteristics. A drought is a continuous or 
extended period period of dry uh, spell caused by lack of rainfall and other forms of precipitation. Precipitation. No, pronounce properly. Precipitation. Precipitation. Uh, depending, depending on the severity, yours can last up to a month or several years and have an adverse impact on the ecosystem. Carry on. Uh, Where, where are you? Ecosystem. Um, Agriculture. Culture and economy of the air affected areas above can result in shortages in water supply and loss in water quality, loss of uh, biodiversity and Carry on. And agriculture, output creation of desert families and malnutrition, malnutrition increased uh, pollution levels and diseases, as well as mass malnutrition and this Displacement of human and animal life. Deadly occurrences. One of them. I cannot see. Oh, there. One of the worst natural deaths was in China. Uh, which natural deaths uh, in China were, which began in. Uh, 1875 uh, and lasted until 1879. When the rains finally returned, result in deaths of 19, 9 to 13 million people. About a hundred years earlier, there was an ill Alido event in India which caused a monsoon mal failure for Con for years began from 1789, occurring studies about 11 million dead of the alkaline starvation and disease. Uh, and epic. According to studies, about 11 million died and of the, of the accompanying, accompanying starvation and starvation and disease epidemics. So you see that the drought is a continuous, that means they do not have a rain, does, uh, doesn't have rain for a long period of time. As a result, you look at the ground, all crack. Okay, so caused by lack of rain. So drought is the drought, just mean xiao yu, yeah. Tian chi and kan zhao, very dry, very hot. The temperature can go out to 40 to 42 degrees. It can last over a month or even a year. Uh, why? Because of the, the world of getting polluted, pollutions. Okay, global warming is a disaster that they face slowly and costs many. So sometimes the aeroplane had to fly across the farm or fly to have artificial rains to create the rain to come in. But that was only a short period. Maybe it only rained for less than 15 minutes, then stop. Not enough, or even the most one hour, not enough. But you need a constant rain to have to make the crops. Animals need to drink water. Humans also need to drink water, need to cook food. And the plants also need water, right? Like photosynthesis, that kind of concept. So look at this, the ground crack. So when you have this kind of crack, so the soil will not be fertile, so you cannot have crops. Then of course, no plants. Then people will die. Lah. Animals also need to eat plants, right? So die. Next, uh, Yixian, 
volcano or volcanic eruptions. We will end this after this one. That's the last one. Features and characteristics. Volcanic eru eruption. Just a eruption. Boom. Eruption is a natural event in which lava, ash, and many gases um, expelled from a volcanic vent. Yes. There are many different types of um, I forgot. Eruption. Eruption, but in terms of Activity. Stop, okay. stop, stop. Remember, uh, Yishen, Lucas, and Valerie and Vedans. This month, you are practicing your orals. Uncle Raymond will not take very serious to check your pronunciations, your rhythms, your tone, your the dum, the dum, the dum, that kind of rhythm. Uh. Come next month, when I test you for oral, good luck to you. Uh. I'll be very strict. Uh. Okay, so take notes. So you need, you know, when there's a comma, pause for one second. If there's a full stop, pause for two seconds. And then when you see that in the manicure, full stop within really, next paragraph, you need to have to pause for three seconds. All right. Let's start with can be categorized. It has either or as either. There we go. Can be categorized as either explosive or effusive. So, Ishena, you have improved in your writing, in your vocab very well. But when you come to reading, uh, if you're not going to improve, uh, then your marks will cool down. You know, uh, PSLE is 30% of your oral. So you must read well and talk well. Don't scat. Uh. The more you scat, sorry, your, you are supposed to get A, end up, you got, you're supposed to get AL1, AL2, you end up AL3, AL4, AL5. So carry on. Explosive. Explosive. Eruption. <coughs> Eruption, eruption, eruption. Eruptions are primarily gas driven. Driven, driven, driven. Driven explosion that propel magma and fragments lava. Fragmented lava. Fragmented lava. Fragmented lava. Offensive. Eruptions, however, involve outpouring of lava as a thick, sticky liquid without a See the sticky got to do a here liquid, huh? Remember the same meaning without a significant? The word yeah. significant means important, huh? Significant eruption. The volcanic explosion. Explosivity index B is a scale from zero to eight that measures the strength of volcanoes and is similar to the Richter scale used for earthquakes, where every interval represents a tenfold increase in magnitude. Don't worry about our oral, uh, uh, Lucas and uh, Barry and Yixian. Next month, if I'm asking you the test for oral, I will give you a passage to practice at home first, okay? Right, then when I call your name, then you read your orals. So maybe Lucas, you might have passage A, uh, Yixian might be a passage B, uh, passage C, that kind of thing. So, but you need to practice the A, B, C, that kind of things. Huh? Well, all no, three no, of them. No, no, no. You must, yeah, you need to practice A, B, C, but I can tell you, okay, Lucas, you do B. You get me now? Uh, I won't tell you, uh, uh, usually you do A, something like that, okay? Let's go. One of the most. One of the most powerful volcano. Too quiet, right? Too quiet. One of the most powerful volcano, volcanic eruptions. Uh you see, uh, if you're going to read just now like that, uh, confirm, uh, you cannot score very high marks. So you need, now you know, uh, you have to constantly practice and uh, like your tete like that. When you read, sorry, I didn't mean to compare you and your sister. Don't be mistaken. Uh. I'm saying that like your tete, you must read. Initially, you also read very, she read very slow. So slowly, uh, take time. Oh. Come on, let's go. How much do I get? Uh, you're too fast. Lucas, you are too fast. 
Um, yes, come, Michel, go. One of the most powerful volcanic eruptions was the eruptions of Mount Mountainbora in India. You know what I mean? You're not reading it. You're not reading it. You're very smart. You're not reading it. You know? Yes. 如果你这样做哈，我跟你讲，哎 ，no， 我不是 stupid 的哦 ，I know， 你要很小心，要细心 ，is very good， 李轩 ，you have a very good character， 很好。可是如果你这样读，那个老师会很不耐烦的 ，very impatient， 你懂吗？明白？哦 ，I hope you understand， 李轩，刚刚读快快，来你看，卢哥早上 Japan Japanese bullet train， 很快，看到我叫我三点，那就叫日本的 Tokyo 的 Osaka 啊。哇！哎呀呀，那不容易啊！各位来宾，各位观众，现在是北京去上海，上海去广州，广州去澳门，澳门去香港。哇！那那三次不热，全这样太快了，不可以。Let's go. The eruption is out. 这这些容易读的吗？你不要读到这么慢。Come, let's go. The eruption result in seventy thousand. Is it seventy thousand to ninety thousand? Go. Seventy thousand to ninety thousand human deaths, and it was so messy that it result in a average global temperature drop of zero point fifty three degree, causing eighteen sixteen to be known as the year without summer. Other deadly eruptions were the eruption of Kakuta in eighteen eighty three. Again in India, in eighteen eighty three, which result result in about. There is a death now. Ed, now you must say resulted. Resulted in about thirty six thousand deaths and devastating habitat. The the. Devastating prisoner and the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. I don't know. Way back in seventy nine AD, which realized a hundred release 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 a a hundred thousand times the thermal energy of the Hiroshima. Bombay and wait out several Roman settlements. Okay, so you see the thermal energy of Hiroshima's bombing and wipe out the several Roman settlements. So volcanic eruption is very serious. Look at this. This called the eruptions. Boom, boom. They got eruption. All the all the lava being spilled out the 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 mountains. And these mountains they have a very high temperatures of lava, as well spilling out from there, and it will. Actually, the lava once it's become hardened, it's very fertile to the soil and can grow a lot of nice crops. Okay, can see our OP. Ah, that means ah a lot of nice fruits or vegetables or oats or or meals or anything, right? So it's one of the daily. Um, so you see ah, Yixian, don't read slowly. Those what you can do read a bit faster. If you very scared and read like that, the teacher might think that you are frightened, which you are. You are scared, which you want to play safe. But honestly, if you are read like that, to be honest, you will not score mark. They will tell, they will think that you you are not only scared and afraid, but you can't read properly because you can't pronounce the word properly, which is not true. You can pronounce the word very well, like Lucas, like that. But Lucas, you are too fast. You need to tone down a bit. So these few weeks, we will learn to speak with a rhythm. Let me start off just a start, lah. Can I read like this out? I think from here, ah. Volcanic, okay, all the way, yeah. Volcanic eruptions is a natural event in which lava sets, ashes, and many gases are spilled on volcanic plants. There are many different types of eruption, but in terms of the intensity and explosive, so if if these if explosive eruptions are running, there are even explosions that propel burn and fragment the lava. I'll give you two marks. Yes, you can't do that, man. Excuse me. I'll give you two marks for your fish. Volcanic eruption is a natural event in which lava, comma, ash, and many gases. Are expelled from a volcanic vent. There are many different types of eruptions. What are you saying? Fish testing. Okay, I don't want to read it because you have got interrupted. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Anyway, you know what is your homework, children? There are a lot of homework. So I will expect you, Lucas, when you turn on your camera. Yeah, so yeah. you must continue to do your homework and submit your homework, okay?